funny story. Uh, in fact, I'll save it for our next guest. <laughs> uh, I'll save it for our next guest. And we're talking about this young man. You'll catch the interview on YouTube. Search Joel Fletch SEN. The chat will be here online as well. But this fellow here, Brian and I, love this player who debuted a couple I'm of years ago. I'm sensing a man crush. But he's so time. good. He's so good. He's such a handful. His name's Jacob Kiraz from the Bulldogs, and he joins the run home with Joel and Fletch with Michelle Bishop. G'day, Jacob. G'day. How are you? Thanks for having me. Mate, I'm so pumped to have you on here. This bloke here, I'm convinced. I nominated yesterday my um, my bolters for representative. I should have had Jacob there. Mm. I missed that because he missed some of the season last year. But I understand Jacob. He'd be wearing the blue too, which is great. He'd be wearing the blue, that's for sure. You're back back in business. All good to go for round one, Jacob? Yeah, um, yeah, that's the plan. It's looking good. And, yeah, I just can't wait. Yeah, can't wait to put the jersey on. Obviously, you know, miss the trolls and I was spewing about that. But, yeah, um, you know, it's all going good and I can't wait. Mate, you played for Lebanon International, playing for as a 17-year-old. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Mate, you've done a lot in a short time. Can I get the number one on your back? Would you like that? Do you like playing fullback? <laughs> Have you played any fullback? Um, yeah, I got, um, I got the chance to play fullback um, last year at the World Cup and... Yeah, um, I played lots of fullback when I was a young junior. So yeah, I love I love being um, I love playing at fullback, and yeah, eventually you know you never know what could happen. But um, yeah, I'm happy wherever to play. To be honest, if Coach Rialdo said Jacob, there's 17 jerseys here. What number do you want? Which one would you take? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably take the one. <laughs> Just reading a text message here from a, a Blake Taft. But anyway, moving right along. <laughs> Jacob, um, the biggest thing I want to want to hear from one of the players is the changes in the environment, the you know the feel about the club, because it's awesome. You guys have had your season launch. Cam Serraldo, second year in the job. What's been the biggest difference um, from, from last year to now? Yeah, um, the biggest difference, I feel like we're just... You know, we're a bit more connected this year in terms of on and off the field. Um, you know, all the new recruits have been, you know, that um, brought their professionalism into the club. You know, there's, we had a few. We had um, like eight or nine players come in and what they've brought into the team, how they've just bought into everything has been amazing. And, you know, we're just, especially like majority of them have, you know, they've all come from very successful clubs. So that's helped heaps. So I think that, you know, everyone's just buying into it now and, you know, um, it's just everyone just seems connected and, you know, hopefully that transfers on the field. Tell us about Coach Seraldo. Is he a big goal setter? Is he, you know, is he hard taskmaster? How do you appraise the young coach who, you know, many, many people say he's a good one? Yeah, um, yeah, Ciro, you know, he's a top coach. Um, you know, he's, um, personally for me, he's helped me so much individually, you know. Um, you know, so he's all about like the mental side of it as well with the goal settings and the journal, um, the journaling and all that stuff. And he's getting all the boys into it, which is good. You know, um, it, it's not just the physical side of footy. You know, you need to be mentally prepared to play every week. So yeah, he's you know his approach, his doors always open. You know, all the boys know that too. Whenever they want to have a chat, you know, he's, he always encourages the boys to go. And yeah, he's honestly, you know, he's helped me heaps with the first um, last year with the way you know I. Wanted to play the season. He's helped me heaps with the mental side of it. And, yeah, you know, um, I can't wait again to play, play for him this year. Very much, Jacob, an open-door policy. You can knock on his door any time and have a chat just about anything. He's big on family. He's massive on buying in. And you're right, he does a lot off the field uh, mentally with the boys. And, and we're not talking earthing and that sort of stuff. He, he gets the boys to read a lot of literature. And I guess the one thing that I've looked at from the dogs this year is, is the fact that everyone's bought in. But for mine, Stephen Crichton, um, he's obviously a new character to you. I've had, had a fair bit to do with Critter out there at Penrith. I wasn't shocked um, or shocked as many people when uh, Cam decided that he was obviously going to be captain for this year. You've been around him enough in this preseason. Do you, you obviously see him as captain, you know, captaincy yeah. material as well? Tell us why. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, you know, it was an easy choice. And, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten along with Critter pretty good, you know, ever since he came to the club. And, you know, no one really knows how much of a pest he is, but you know, that's the way he is um, in the change rooms. But, you know, he's honestly, you know, his first week he came early. And then he had an army camp and, you know, the way he showed his leadership skills. And I'm sure it's not easy coming into a new team, but the way he, you know, you just knew he was a natural leader. And obviously his resume speaks for itself. And, yeah, all the boys, you know, it wasn't a shock to us, honestly, um, when he got the 
captaincy. Um, he leads by it, and even you know with his actions on the field and the way he's been training has been you know amazing. And yeah, I just can't wait to you know play for him. I've got to come clean on the story before I do so. Are, are you off the market, Jacob? A lot of people ask that. You're a good-looking young fellow. Are you? Are you tied down? A, yeah. yeah, I'm tied down. Yeah. I'm yeah. Off. <laughs> okay, because a couple of years ago, Michelle. Um, oh, that tie down. I'm thinking with the Bulldogs. No, See, no, 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 Yeah, that's exactly right. So, <laughs> right, sorry. A couple of years it's ago. the uptake sometimes, me. I was out at ANZ Stadium and I was calling a game and my daughter come along. She wanted to come along to the game and she had a girlfriend with her and got him some tickets. I and, can feel Jacob yeah, blushing no, no, right no, now. No, no, no. So what happened was. No, no, no. He, he was only a young kid. They, they, nothing right. untoward. But she's quite a prankster, my, my daughter Miller. So what they did, they come across this um, corporate box and they thought, oh, let's just slide in here and see how long we last, right? <laughs> so they go into this corporate box, and unbeknownst to them, it's they've quickly worked out, oh, it's the the Bulldogs families and, and those nice. sorts of things. And people start to look around, what are these girls doing here? And to which someone, an, an older lady says, excuse me, what are you doing in here? Where's your wristband? Oh, I've got my wristbands. Well, who are you here with? And Miller had no idea. She, she goes, oh, um, or, uh, I'm Jacob Kiraz's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way! I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. So, and then apparently she she may have had this in her head. This girl sort of looked at her as if to say, "Oh, I'm, I'm Jacob Kiraz's girlfriend." <laughs> oh so, no! And, well, and, and, and out she went. But there you go. That's a true story, Jacob. Um, what what funny. are I didn't even know that. what true story? What, what's the ambitions? Like, what are you in, inside the camp at the kennel there yeah. of the Bulldogs? What what's the the talk? Are you saying? You know, do you push a stretch goal and say top four? Do you say top eight? Do you say let's win so many games? Is there other ways to look at it? What are you thinking internally? Um, yeah, like, you know, I'd be lying if we said we didn't want to play finals or top four and all that. Um, obviously, we want to play finals footy, 100%. And, but I feel like we just need to, you know, we just want to every week, just take a week by week and just, you know, um, enjoy it. At the same time, it, like, you know, it's going to be a roller coaster. There's going to be some win, like there's going to be lots of good wins. There's going to be some losses. So I feel like if we just in, like you know just enjoy it as it goes on, and you know I'm sure if we if we put our best foot forward every week, and you know we're still buying into it, still learning. I feel like you know the success is going to come, and then you know before we know it, you know we're going to be in the finals, and then hopefully we go all the way. Take us back. You make your debut, and you're told uh, by the coach or by the manager. I'm not sure how it folded out, yeah. but. Can you take us back to that moment? It's a very special moment when a kid's told they're going to debut for a club. Yeah, um, I remember I was on a training trial at Doggy, so I, I couldn't um, debut until around eleven, and I and it was around it was around eight or seven at the time, and then um, lots of the boys caught COVID, so I remember they called me in for the NRL back five meeting, and they said, "Oh, just come in," but I didn't think anything of it. But like lots of boys had COVID, and then. Yeah, Trent Barrett um, said, oh, yeah, so um, Jacob, like, how are you going to, um, you're going to be guarding up against um, Farmworth on the right centre. And oh. that's how I actually found out. And I was like, yeah, I freaked out. I was in Just shock. so casually. Uh, wow. Yeah, like he said it casual, but then the boys G'd up as soon as like Foxy was there, obviously with his laugh, g me up. And yeah, it was funny. <laughs> Wow. It was good, but it was the best moment. Can good I just young. ask you who you've gravitated towards in terms of the team, in particular this year in the, in, in the preseason? Yep. Um, who's impressed you? Like a, a Drew Hutchison, like coming from a club like the Roosters. Um, who, who's sort of impressed you in that way um, and you've been able to take a little bit from? Yeah, um, you know, Drew, he's actually been a good one, to be honest. Obviously, you know, he's, you know, he's, a, vet, he's a veteran. He's played like so many games. He's been a, um, a top club for, you know, like a number of years now. So, you know, him being um, there and being in a professional club like that, he's just showed his professionalism and, you know, he's, you can just see how footy IQ smart he is and I love, you know, even me, I just keep, I watch video of him heaps and just pick out little things. And obviously, you know, for me personally, um, you know, I watched lots of vision on Critter last year defensively and the player he was defensively. So me seeing him firsthand now, you know, it's unbelievable and, yeah, I've just picked up so much stuff off him and, yeah, that's where I want to be eventually as well. So, yeah, he's probably been the main one on me. I'll tell you what I'm interested in too, and, and Matty Burton is a very much improved goal kicker. had a terrific season last year. But, Jacob, I've been on the record saying that I genuinely think, I genuinely think Stephen Crichton is the best striker of the ball in the competition, and he's a part-time well, kicker. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a big How have they goal. been going at training, and, and, and do we know yet who might be starting the season as a goal kicker? 
I actually, I don't even know yet. I know they're all doing the reps. Like, we've got so many boys after training just goal, goal kicking, even probably wingers. But I don't, um, yeah, um, I actually don't know officially. All I know is that they're all every, you know, they're obviously goal kicking heaps. But yeah, it's been hard for Critter because he had the quad injury, so he stopped kicking for a bit. But um, yeah, like you said, he's a good goal kicker. And then you got Birdo's left foot. So I'm actually, I'm actually pretty curious to see who goal kicks. Have you got I'm a sure front runner? Obviously. Have you got a front runner? You've smothered it well. You've got to give us a front runner. <laughs> I actually don't know. I'm always <laughs> joking. I, I, I don't know. I actually haven't picked up on it. I just, whoever kicks, just get the goals and then that's it. As long who, who, as who, else, size, I'm happy. who else, Jacob, is, is putting their hand up for goal kicking? The Fox. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not Fox. No, nah, Fox, no way. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, I think Toby Sexton's um, kicking a bit. Oh, yeah. Who else? Yeah, so I think Toby's practice, Birdo's practice, and obviously, or Critter. They're all, everyone's doing the reps. All the young boys are doing the reps too. So, yeah, I'm sure... We'll find out around one. Speaking of the young boys, who, who's somebody who, you know, may, maybe, you know, the general public don't know so much about a player, but you've seen them at training going, oh, geez, they're going to be playing first grade, if not in round one at some point. Is there a player that has really caught your attention? Um, I'm sure, like, um, lots of, of there's um, Joe Ash for party. Oh, yes. So he's one of the young um, fullbacks, um, and he's honestly. Yeah, had a really good pre. He's just like a natural. He's unbelievable. He's, what he does at training, it's like no one can do. So he's impressed. He's been, been pretty impressive. Um, there's a couple of boys, you know, Jordan Shamrani. Um, he's a he's actually another Lebanese boy. He's been doing good, big center. So yeah, they've all just the young. All the young ones have honestly bought into it so well, and you know, it's good seeing all the juniors do well. And I'm sure when they get their chance, I'll take it with both hands. Tell me about Joe Ash. So Joe Ash Papali, is he related to? Either the boys in the NRL at the moment, and and who does he play like? Yeah, I, I would say he plays like an old Milford, Anthony Milford in Broncos days. Gotcha. Yeah, so he's like very silky. He has like a left, right, or right foot. It's very, very silky with the ball in his hands. He's like got this talent that you know only some people have. So our training will do a stepping drill where we're defending, and when he runs, no one. It's really, really hard to get wow. him. So yeah, he's pretty impressive and. I'm pretty. I don't know if I'm confident, but I'm pretty sure that he's related to um, Papali'i and Raiders. I'm pretty oh, okay. sure. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, he's got some relation there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But I'm Jeez, a young, trust me. Though. Jeez, I tell you what. If we come across another young Milford, that'd be exciting say, for the comp, wouldn't it? Big raps. Yeah. Milford. Milford yeah, in his no, day. He, in his, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, mate. Uh, all the best. And uh, just just for our listeners too, they want to know. Tell us about Jacob Kiraz when he's nowhere near rugby league. What are your interests? What are your shows? Podcasts? Is there a sport that you're a big fan of? PlayStation? Um, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm just, I hang on my family heads, to be honest. So I just, you know, obviously I still live at home, can't move out until I'm married. So um, I'm, you know, obviously loving, you know, I love hanging out with my parents and my brothers and my sisters, all my mates come over. Sometimes we play a bit of PlayStation, FIFA. Um, but yeah, not too much. Um, but yeah, like when I can relax, I relax. To be honest, so I'm a pretty relaxing person, and yeah, I go with my partner and go with my family heaps. So is, say, uh, here's the honesty part: How are you at home? Are there clothes everywhere? Is your bed unmade, or do you help mum? No, nah, got I've a pretty got, good mum. Um, Have to give your yeah. mum a shout out. Di, I used to go to school yeah, with her, and your beautiful sister Jamie, who's uh, a budding journalist, wants to really? be a, a rugby league, uh, yeah. a rugby league or a sports yeah. journalist, and. Yeah, she did a bit of work with us at the Seven Network. She's um she's an up and coming journalist. So oh wow! Her. Yeah, now shout out to my mum and you know both my parents. So, but I'm I'm pretty. I'd say I'm a pretty clean person. I have OCD a type of way. Even when we go to hotels with the boys, <laughs> I hate when I'm with I'm rooming with a dirty person. It's, yeah, I don't like it. But like yeah, <laughs> like uh, like lots of uh, I'm not even joking. Like seventy percent of the team, they just chuck <laughs> stuff everywhere. You've given the boys hey, up. Love it. Hey, Jacob Kiraz, uh, I, I wasn't lying when I was saying both Fletch and I are massive fans, and both of, we won't both want to see it fullback. Um, but we also want to see this young Milford now too that you've mentioned it too. Uh, thanks for joining yeah, the run home with Joel and Fletch. And uh, man, I reckon you've already done wonderful stuff in your career. I reckon 2024 is going to be a massive Jacob Kiraz season. All the best, mate, and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good one. Yep, we've got the thanks, right bloke Jacob. on, Michelle. Thank you for sorting that as well.